at once and sell, sell. Sub $20 an ounce spot price is becoming a regular thing lately. What's causing it all and how low can it go? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about it, so stay tuned. <laughs> What do you say, YouTube? How you doing? Welcome to another edition of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. This is episode number 93. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to check out the new video. And if you'd like to help support this channel, then why not click on that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, you know, I humbly appreciate all the amazing supports you folks have given the channel. So, has Silver got you bummed out by the low price? Well... It's understandable that frustration could be settling at this point as uh, we've dropped below the sub-20 price range. But most of us understood the volatility of silver when we got into it and that drops and hikes are pretty normal for this crazy precious metal. Uh, it's a long game. It's a long game. And if you got into it hoping for a quick profit through buying the, the FOMO uh, recently in late February, well, yeah, I can see we'd be pretty disappointed right now. But... Let's check out some factors that are contributing to the spot price being so low right now. Well, first off, let's take a quick look at uh, some silver pricing to see where we've been and where we are now. Uh, if you look, I've got a red X right at the spot where Russia invaded Ukraine in February of this year. And you can see silver was fairly stable up to that point, and then it shot right on up to a high of 26.13 in late February, early March. Then it started to stabilize again, dropping down in late March with one last spike in April and then bam, major drop. And that pretty much leaves us where we are today at the time of this video, which is 1943 an ounce. So what's causing this? Well, there are a few factors in play here. And the first, believe it or not, is gold. Why is that? Well, silver generally tracks with gold and gold has gone through a five month low in 2022. So true to form, silver has followed it. Uh, the second factor is a stronger U.S. dollar. Precious metals generally fall when the dollar's strong. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but that is the case. And the third factor is rising interest rates by the Fed. Uh, interest rates went up 0.75% in June. And, well, there's a fairly strong belief that a similar hike is going to take place in July with yet another one potentially planned in September. Now, if you're not aware... The Fed boosts interest rates uh, to combat inflation. Inflation generally drives the value of precious metals up and the dollar down. As rate hikes strengthen the dollar, it can have the opposite effect. Metals go down. And that being said, there hasn't been much solid correlation between uh, interest rates and precious metal prices, as some would have you believe. Another reason for the drop in price, uh, the silver supply has recovered at a much faster rate than demand. Uh, the biggest surge in supply right now is coming from Latin America, and this has been due to mostly due to COVID-19 restrictions uh, in countries such as Peru and Mexico, which are some of the major silver producers. Uh, those stipulations and restrictions were lifted much earlier than the rest of the world. But silver demand, especially jewelry uh, demand in top consumers, India and China, have dropped as in-store jewelry sales fell. Uh, due to a number of stores being closed after COVID-19 outbreaks. So right now there's more silver supply than demand. And when products made of silver aren't being produced, the demand drops and the price goes with it. Uh, China and India together, together combined account for approximately 40% of silver uh, fabrication demand. So while India's COVID-19 situation has been improving a little bit over the last few months, uh, not the case in China, they're dealing with a fresh wave of cases. And what makes it worse for China, they're currently dealing with soaring energy prices, which has caused uh, a number of smelters and mills to shut down. And as such, the silver outlook for the rest of the year is looking, well, pretty grim, uh, with even lower silver demand for the short to medium term. And for the rest of the world, well, this year could see lower silver demand coming from industrial use, uh, following increasing worries about stagflation which is reduced economic growth and uh, increased inflation, basically in a nutshell. Uh, this could lead to reductions in sales of electronics and automobiles, which, I mean, let's face it, that drives considerable 
uh, silver industrial demand. Well, where does silver go from here through the rest of 2022? Uh, I'm not an analyst, so I'm going to quote some analysts from uh, Australia and New Zealand who see the prices of silver settling in at around $26 per troy ounce by the end of this year. Hard to believe, judging by what we've seen so far and uh, what we could you know, potentially be dealing with at the end of the year. Uh, although a number of silver miners are expected to cut production guidance due to rising energy prices and low demand, the second half of the year is expected to be better than the disappointing first half. Again, you're going to have to show me that. Uh, right now, it's not looking all that positive. But hey, things change. All right, all right. That is going to wrap it up for this 93rd episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. Closing in on 100 episodes. Holy jeez. Uh, if you made it this far, kudos to you. Uh, hopefully you guys had a fantastic fourth. Um, ours was pretty good. We didn't do much. We more or less celebrated on Saturday. Uh, we went to a, a AAA game and they did a fireworks display after the game. So that was pretty much our fourth and we kind of chilled on the fourth itself. So, But anyway, I will catch up with you in the next episode. But in the meantime, what you going to do? Damn right, get stacked. Stay safe, everyone. Be well. I am out of here. Peace, people.